Hi you notters. I don't know about you, but sometimes I can be utterly and totally stressed out during a day. It mostly has to do when I'm really busy. I have to have a strict planning and then I get nervous. Keeping an eye on my clock, afraid that I will get stuck in traffic, afraid that I will be too late. What if I have planned things wrong? What if I don't have enough time? What if they don't have a toilet when I have to pee? Yes, getting older is always fun. But anyway, so today it was kind of a day like that. <clears throat> and because I'm afraid of having not enough time, my planning is always like that, that I have plenty of time. So here I was. I just had my first appointment, which went okay, and after that I even did some necessary shopping. And then I suddenly realized I had some spare time, and I used it to create art. I didn't plan it for today, because I was already so stressed out about the time. It was a really strange experience, because I wouldn't have thought of planning it this way. I would never plan to do art on a busy day like this. And yet, it worked out awesome. The creating, and I'm a bit ashamed, I didn't think of this before, but it utterly and totally calmed me down. It wasn't until I was on the couch that evening that I felt it. The art did its magic once again. And I didn't panic over the second appointment. I had a really pleasant drive with loud singing and enjoying my music. And when I was there, I also had fun with everybody and felt really relaxed. So that was already a big win. So that was already a big win. But the cherry on top of the cake of being totally calmed down, my anxiety is that I also love this page. I enjoyed creating it. I started this on um, I started this one based on some prompts because this Sunday, week two of the Seek Gather and Create Challenge on Instagram started. So the prompts are teal, tissue paper, blossoming flower, stripes and some fabric and it ignited my ideas and imagination. I could do the flowers in between my appointments and I did the assembling of it all the next morning. The page came together really nice. I cut two pieces of my desk covering paper that I use to keep my desk clean and that's it gets all the colors I'm always using by paint and Posca pens. The tissue paper was only wetted with water and dried outside in the sun, which was a job quickly done because it's very hot outside at the moment. The pieces of fabric I used are old sheets that I colored some time ago with Ecoline. And then the part I'm pretty proud of myself the blooming violins. They were drawn after an example of Pinterest. I always think I cannot draw, but I was pretty happy with these. I put in the lines according to the challenge. To get it all together, I sewed them together to get the yellow hearts of the flowers and to keep a certain depth into it all. I really learned a big lesson today and I hope that next time I will be able to book time in a busy day to do some art. To be able to let it part, to let it be part of a busy day, instead of giving only free time. I really loved how this all came together and I love the quote too, because we all need to be in this moment, every day. And it's a bit of a shame to let yourself to get anxious and miss all the good stuff. There might be one part of this page I don't particularly like and that is the lettering. I for sure have to practice it more. 
I'm glad I kind of conquered my inner critic at the moment and I tell you about that in this video. So you might want to have a look at that too because it got some great help to quiet that nasty one. Well, that's all for today. I wish you a lovely day. Enjoy the little things and make time for making art. A big hug from me and bye bye for now.